So I'm happy about it. <laughs> wow. I like I like having my, my little things for everybody's name. I don't I can't really think of too much here, but if we were playing on Inferno I could save the fruit stand out on banana for fruit, but I can't do that unfortunately. Maybe later on in the season. But already going for a fast cat play, Fruit and Polly already up there. Scouting out for a bit of information, looking towards lower now too, and already got three man stack from Liquid going out towards long. So this this is an interesting play. Going for a two fast cat is not too uncommon, and this could pay off big. Just letting him walk into his crosshairs. Oh, a little bit of team action coming out, but Fruit takes down A2Z, and that's that's a huge kill, and a lot of information gone out there. Liquid trying to push on in. Imsta using that smoke, actually, from the site to just get from this box into long. He does get taken down by Nitro, only takes one with him, and now the flank. Polly coming in. He's going to go big here. Can he get anything? No, he does a little bit of damage to Nitro, but... There's not much for them to really do right now. Polly takes out a dread finally. Nitro cleans up one. Demise doing the same thing Polly did and gets behind Nitro and takes him out. This is looking like the first round here for Mouse Spaz as Fugly's the last man standing. Get the nade damage yeah. out too, and he's he should be gone. If he clutches this, it would be insane, but he's backing off. He's covering his back and he's he's only got one way to go and Mouse Spaz are covering it. Yeah, and Fruit playing it very smart, just not even exposing himself until his teammates shoot. Nice. And there's Zex just dropping him. So, some clever play coming through those smokes. Also, that's the team ace, but that smoke at long that lit, that was on the top of the box that he or, uh, that he just peered underneath it from behind that, that that box on the ramp was very clever position. We've seen that out of some euros here and there. And he gets a kill with it. So, a nice, a nice pistol on from Mouse Spaz. And here's here's what uh, here's what I think we're gonna see. Here's what kind of worries me about this roster change is this uh, more than likely means Adren is calling at the moment, and he's called for them in the past. And it's very easy to spot when Adren is calling because they mm -hmm. play very very I by power s. They play very slow, spread out default, uh, not too much aggression going on. And in a match like this, that can be kind of scary because. He, they have players that can just outskill and out aim mouse spaz. So you know, unleash uh, Elise, unleash Nitro, unleash Fugly, unleash your entry fraggers. And uh, speaking of entries here, Imsta and Demise could go huge. They're pushing through the smoke right now, but A to Z is going to lead off the charge. He finds Imsta, Elise gets Demise, and they only get a one for two trade there from mouse spaz. And just using their out aiming power and out fragging power, Liquid just overpower this B bomb slide in. They get the bomb down, and the retake is on for the mouse spaz side as they go up door. They're going to put one up window. And uh, can they do it? Adren found himself with a moss too. Paul is going to be just mowed down there. There you go. Headshot comes out, and this is this is not good. Getting ecoed here. That's that's a big crush to the morale. Yeah, that, that kill in Halls on Polly is the clincher. Woo. The round's basically over from here. Fruit's going to try and make something happen. Gets one kill. Doesn't can't get a second one. So there it is, coming through that smoke at B. Just one smoke and a pop flash, and they overrun that defense with some nice trades. So Liquid steals it right back from Mousepaz. I wasn't actually expecting that to work. You know, they were ready to go. They inched up in the smoke, though. Like, that was a smart play by Liquid. They inched up and then just burst out. They're like, all right, we're going to listen for steps, and there was none. So that worked out, and now we get to see a bit of a reverse action as Mouse Bowser put onto the pistols, and they're going to have to eco it up. Liquid do pick up a scout for Nitro, and everybody else is going to get automatics up. And they're going to play a bit of a big spread here, putting two up cat, one mid, one B, and then one in a site. Nothing spotted out long. The bomb's over there. Lee's just going to lead the charge. and It's, it's actually very similar hmm. to their pistol round, and they're going to fall off it. I, I doubt it's going to backfire this time, though. There is no smoke for that uh, A site to use the box again. And it's spotted out towards uh, Pit, too. So Fruit's just kind of listening. He's going to keep his position on Cat. And Liquid should have no problem with this round, but who knows? We said before in the first match that pistols were insanely strong. An A2Z here holding off Suicide. He's actually going to yeah, be forced back. Mousepad is actually forcing Liquid's hand here with that with that mid push. You can see the players start rotating over towards Log. Elise is going to get that entry out of the A bomb site. There are going to be three players there. As Fugly's taking one down in the middle. 50 seconds to work with. Liquid does not have to rush this, and they're just going to mow him down. Oh. Trying to boost up. Imsta gets taken off, so it's just demise. And a nice round from Liquid, managing Perfect. that very very well. Perfect round from them. So. Liquid, they're like, all right, we lost the pistol, whatever. Just bum rush it out, and they take it. So, mouse bats need to wait one more round until they can test with real guns. Liquid, not upgrading just yet either. So, they, they know the position they're in right now. And we'll just keep abusing it. So, we should see a quick 3-1 to one in the favor of Liquid. And, man, losing losing that B site second round just destroyed them from mouse bats. So, they're going to go for a 3 fast cat, actually. And it hasn't worked yet. It only worked in the first round where they got one kill on A to Z, and as they push up, Fugly's ready and waiting. He takes down Fruit, he takes down Imsta, he's gonna get a third on the Polly, and... Alright. Fourth round yeah. is done. <laughs> Should Nicely be Nicely done. done by Fugly, absolutely. Uh, Demise is pushed down behind this box, and he's gonna get a kill on A to Z, he wasn't quite ready for it. Fugly's very, very low, but he can't find the shot. 
and it is pretty much all over. Zach does grab a dread at the end. So a couple kills go in their favor, but nothing too critical. Now we're going to head into that first gun round. Zach's going to have plenty of money to pick up his AWP. All right, so big battle. Zek versus Adren. Are we going to see a fight mid? I, I don't think so. You know, I, I would feel like Zek would want to go for a long peek. Eh, he could go mid, but who knows? I like guessing. Guessing games are fun. And uh, yeah, he's bringing it long. Cool. So going to go for the long peek, and they're going to actually triple stack this. So ready to respond just in case energy frag miss. Nitro gets flashed off on Cat too, but the shots just can't connect from Demise. Fugly actually has the AWP in his hands, and I think it was just because he had that good spawn yet as he traded it right back. So he just had a close long spawn, wanted to go for the pick. It, it, he doesn't get it, and he just passes the op away over to over to Adrenaline. That three long sack, they've kind of fallen off of it now. Polly's still pushed up. One's at the corner, but they're spread out just to kind of have a very mobile defense there towards A in the long A area. And again, just taking some time, looking around, getting their control towards A site. Zek still looking over to Cat. This is a huge position for him to play if they do start inching up. With four members and a bomb on Cat, can they make it work? Zek is the man to watch right now. So, flashes soon? No, one flash out mid. They're making some noise. Maybe they'll look to catch him on the rotate, actually. Oh. Yeah, they're trying to force him out of the position, which they have done a little bit, but Zek is quick to get right back into it. And here come the smokes off Catwalk. Flashbang blind. Oh, he drops CT? Drops. Yeah, Nitro drops, but Zek's looking for it. He grabs the first one. Fruit grabs a leash. So two entry for nice. down. Zek gets a third one onto Adren, who can't win the battle. Boom. He gets a fourth one. Zek going huge. Actually, excuse me, that's just three. And, but it's uh, an attack that just gets absolutely shut down. Only Fugly remaining on Catwalk. Trying to come behind these smokes. Not much for him to do. Trying to grab one jumping. He does get. He gets jumped in. Zek there at the end, but. They do salvage the up anyways. That was nice. That was a cheeky play and a delayed cat take that they thought they would force them with the, the smokes and the flashes up mid, but uh, Mousepad is reading that situation perfectly. So they take an easy round and they minimize casualties too. So they're trying to build up a bit of a bank, but it's going to be very tough on CT side. And uh, full AKs from Liquid side, no op for Adren seeing as they lost that round. But all right, Mousepad is going to try to tie this one up and... I gotta say, Zach, that was a phenomenal hold from Long, too, looking up Cat towards the platform. Yeah, there, there was only that one flashbang to kind of make him feel uncomfortable. They, they drew him off a little bit, but they didn't sell that mid to B split. And one flashbang just kind of gave him pause, but, you know, maybe a second one coming down to help blind him as they ran up the ramp. But he, uh, he had pretty much free reign. It was a very nice round by him. And again, just keeping mid control, just keeping it quiet, making a little bit of noise here and there. And they're going back up Cat. And Fruit is ready and waiting. The op, though, for Mouse Baz, it's sitting up mid. So he's been he's been trying to make some noise there and catch someone off guard. And he's going to rotate back to his long position. Interesting. He's going to try to see if he can catch them off guard again. Yeah, but he's in a really weird spot with an op and CT spawn like this. You know, not committed anywhere, not in a great position to help out like he was last round. It's very hard for an op to kind of come up ramp and have that angle and also come through smokes into mid if it's a, if it's a mid B split. So he could get isolated. Uh, relatively easily if he stays here, but he is peering into the crack at the moment in mid. So here we go. He actually has to be getting a wall bank shot, it seems, into a liege, and he re peeks out, but Nitro! He jumped out of cat, went CT spawn, and picks up the quick reverse frag, and now they're gonna be making their way into this B bomb site. They take down Imps, the demise finds one onto A2Z, and it's up to him to hold the site. He gets himself another trade, so making it a two for two, and now it's a two on two with a lurker there, and the nine man, a fugly. It's all up to him. As he can try to save Adren right now, but he doesn't get there in time. He's still making his way up the ramp. They have to hear him. They're going to stick this defuse right now. Fugly's going to flashbang his way in. Can he get the kill? He does actually stop the defuser, but that's not enough. And Fruit finds that frag and takes the round and saves it from Alspaz as they bring it to a 3 for 3. Or 3 to 3. Yeah, Fugly had to be a whole lot more aggressive in that situation. At least able to spot rotators or get a, get a shot as he crosses, but... Uh, not able to come help his team in time. Essentially, that, that bomb site was just a two-on-one retake, and I'm not sure if they expect them to take it a little bit more slower or cautiously, but Mouse Baz getting into the retake very quick, and they're going to win that one just just cleanly by picking off a Dren early. Yeah, I really, I really thought Fugly was going to get out mid a little bit faster, but he just didn't. Well, he was, he was in that situation where he was uh, almost, maybe not scared, but he didn't want to make noise and let him know he was there. And yeah. Now, now look at this, a long A take, but... Nothing's going to come from it, but they do have long control now with Zek playing far back with that AWP. So they get full long control right now, but Zek's still trying to snipe them out, and Fruit's holding this position here towards the CT ramp, but... Yeah, they back off. They're going to leave one over there. Take it slow, and they know that they're over towards A and mid right now, seeing as how Imsta and Polly both push that tunnel. 
Hmm. Keeping it calm too, though. Adrian's trying to snipe up from mid. Doesn't have a sniper though, using his AK. And oh, Polly finds Nitro completely off guard. And takes him yeah, down over there. And look at this. The counter terrorists have gained complete control of the B tunnels. So they can rotate a play. They don't have to play anyone inside of B. They have two in the tunnels. Bugly's close left here, but it's so much map control afforded to Mouse Pass. And now Liege wins this battle. Gets a nice entry on to Polly, who's still peeking, but Imsta takes out Fugly in the halls. Still advantage going towards the counter terrorists. Yeah, and now they dinked out a leash too, so making this even harder for the Team Liquid side, and we could see Mouse Pass take their advantage back by one round. They're making their way out long. They've only got 30 seconds left on the clock, too. they got to keep an eye on that, seeing as to how they can't really rotate B without being caught out, so. Flash is out. They're looking to push up. They do end up blinding Zek a little bit, and they actually tap him down. All right, and now they're going to look for the cross. Fruit can't find the kill. They can boost up here towards Elevator. Imsta's going to be looking to jump on Fruit's head. No, actually, they're full blinded, but the spray comes in, and Imsta takes down a liege. And the bomb gets re-picked up there, but there's that little gap in the smoke that can peek through, and Imsta gets a second. So, all up to Adren right now. Using that smoke to his advantage, he had to crawl around, but Fruit not having any of it. Gonna headshot him down and make it 4-3. to three. Mouse Spaz, Imsta going big with a triple kill. That rounds. Hey, Dan, uh, check the uh, check the broadcast uh, chat really quick. Yeah, that, that was that was a great round for Mouse Spaz. I mean, Polly pushing up middle like that so aggressively, able to get two picks, and it's just so much information. When, when the counter terrorists have those B-tunnels, they can, you know, it basically eliminates half the map. And yeah, no, they have so much information on where Team Liquid is. It's basically like funneling them back over towards A. So, and they, they really can't. It's so hard to retake those tunnels as a terrorist. All right. So, again, going for that bit of a B stack, the B tunnels, maybe to try to catch out. Imsta and Demise again. This is what happened last time. They wanted to creep up the smoke, but this time they're getting sprayed up it through it. So, not going to risk it. They actually respoke it themselves. Maybe trying to celebrate. They're going, they're going for that same anti eco that they did in the second round that actually won it for him. Let's see, they're delaying it quite a bit, so. Yeah, but Polly's pushed long. Polly's playing very confidently and very aggressively right now, so they know this B hit's coming in. It's not gonna give him enough of a, a very much of a warning, but there are two players here. A nice crossfire Imsta is still over towards Ooh. A. He's gonna drop a two for two trade. Although Adren is very, very low at the moment. But if they get the bomb down, that's a win. Alright, so they're gonna get the win there. Get that extra bit of money. Polly's gonna find a Dren in the back there. 1D comes in from Elise. He's got himself an M4. He's two on two with his buddy, but Zek kills off Fugly. They know he's over towards Car here. Fruit takes him out, and the Diffuse should come on in swiftly. And Mousepaz actually lose quite a bit there, but their economy's not that bad. And Liquid, they at least get the bomb plant, like you said, and that's that's the win for them. They wanted the money. And money wise, they are gonna be able to pick up an op for Fugly. And not Fugly, excuse me, for a Dren. Mm hmm. So it seems like, you know, every, every Team Liquid has gone pretty slow and, they, and they've, they've hit A a couple times late in the round. It's basically got shut down, but over towards B, they seem to be having some success just grouped up and getting some nice trades. So I would imagine that this round is going to have more of a focus on B, uh, more pressure put onto mid and push back any kind of mid control that Mouse Spaz wants to have, and then uh, perhaps even a mid to B split. But it actually, look at Pauly, still going a aggressive again. He gets blinded, now he's in lower B, and he's going to get blinded even more. He's going to get taken out, so... Too much aggression, too consistently, and he gets punished for it. Yeah, they're starting to get a read on the situation, and Polly bites the dust for that one, so... Good way to start. Mousepaz, though, not giving up just yet. Imsta's gonna look to hug this wall and look up towards mid, or just kind of listen for any kind of footsteps. And the bomb is back to spawn. Kind of pulling a Tempo Storm right now. Liquid not have, wanting, have any, wanting to have any kind of deal with that. Yeah, yeah so. but, but with the Dren calling at the moment, they're not going to really do anything until later on in the round. They're just helping their teammates get into position, and they're going to go back for it as they're doing right now. And they're, they're going to they're gonna slow play these until about the 40-second mark when they when they can start actually doing something. Fruit gets oh. into a battle. He recovers nicely. A Dren misses that shot and gets punished. But Fruit having a tough time early on with that fight. And with the three members here towards Cat, is going to be able to call that one out, and now it's up to Zek to hold this one. Looking to cover his long, they smoke up towards Cat, and they're inching their way up once again. And last time, Zek made quick work of them, so we'll see if he can do it again. They're looking for the smoke to mid to B as well. A to Z kind of maybe looking for a bit of a bait. Yeah, but this isn't going to fake anything. Imsa's up close, so he's going to be able to call it out. A2Z is going to try and do it. He doesn't clear the corner. He gets taken out by Imsa. Now it's up. They have pulled a rotator off, so it's just Zek and Goose. He has an AWP. He's going to flash for himself. He's got it. He's just going to hold this angle with the AWP, and he's got a lot to do. Nitro's holding the angle. Nice flick. What a nice shot. Imsa nice. Is going to a second nice shot from Zek. Beautiful work with the op in these rounds where they hit A against him. That was a pretty sick response to a dire situation for him, and he responded perfectly. So 6-3, to three, Mouse Paz. You said their CT tower was strong, and they're demonstrating that right now. And honestly, even if Pauly's pushing up aggressive, he's confident his team will respond. And he's 4-9 currently, but uh, his aggressive pushes have given quite a bit of information. 
So we won't see a Dram with an op this time. We'll pick up the Galil. And we're onto Liquid. If they lose this one, they'll be put onto an Eco. So they have to be very careful with this. Taking their time. Yeah, and this is... This is uh... I don't like the slow play out of Liquid. Like I, like I said earlier, I want them to just unleash a Liege, unleash Nitro. These these guys are so strong at entry fragging Fugly in there too, and you know let them just out aim the, the, these kind of mouse pass players. But here's that mid B, mid to be execute. Oh. Liege gets sprayed out very very low. Top flash comes nice. in. Nice. The A two Z gets a nice pick, and now it's just one player in this B side. It's gonna be cleared out, but he pushes through the door, grabs one, so it's down to a three on three, and mouse pass have handled this pretty well. All right, bomb plant money coming over to Liquid right now. We got Fruit on a bit of a lower tunnel play. He's going to be coming in. A2Z right around the corner. Will he be able to pick him off? Fruit, he's got Polly to back him up from T. Oh, no, Fruit was looking to his teammate. Maybe thinking he was an enemy, not looking at the map or getting the call out there. Flashbang comes in. A2Z full blind. There's still one on the site in Zek. He's got the AK. He's going to be pushing out the door. A2Z going huge this round. Getting a big triple kill. It's all out to Polly. Behind the box, what? He just taps down Nitro right in the head. He's gonna like to push in. No, he doesn't have a kit, so doesn't want to risk it. A two Z is gonna save himself that AK and with a triple kill, he saves that round. He doesn't have dying though, but uh, that puts Liquid at four rounds. Yeah, that, that was desperately needed. So nicely executed mid to B split. Looked dire there for a second, but you said it. A two Z with a couple nice picks. That first kill under the B site really alleviated uh, a lot of the defense there, and then holding down those tunnels very very well in a two on one. All right, so they're going to force it out. They get the op for Zek still. Uh, three from Asus, too. And the AK probably saved, but uh, let's see. Going for the B-Tunnel pain train again. It seems that they want to unleash the entry fraggers, like you said. Nitro's going to lead the charge, but he gets full blinded. The incendiary doing so much there. And now, Imsta, he's holding behind the box. They had no idea he was there. He flicks down another one. And the Dren cleans him up afterwards. But Zek, with this AWP, takes him down. And now we're into a one on three. A to Z. Can he get another triple kill? He's going to get flashed out mid, forced to turn around. Polly's going to meet him up, and there you go. Yeah, a great a great call that round from Mousepass to switch things up. They're doing a lot of three towards A. This round, they decide to set up in a two on two. It gives Zek that very, very quick uh, rotate time over towards B. And Amsta behind that big box saves the day, gives, gives Zek time to get into position and help him out. So. Nice shot out of a fast, fast B hit by Team Liquid. They're getting used to it. That's three B hits right now where one of them has been successful for the Liquid side, and that was on an Eco. So, looking to go up mid here. And like you said, I'm not not feeling the slow play. And that nade up mid actually just destroys two of the Liquid members there. But they're going for a cat play. They're bringing the bomb up. Everybody's going in, and this is going to be up to Fruit. And let's see if he can shoot them all down. Flash has come out. He's forced to re-peek over the wall. Can he find anything? Actually, a counter flash blinds them completely. He's going to throw one off this wall. And as they push up, he's going to get shot in the back. He's caught with a nade in his hand. The <laughs> burst fire isn't enough to pick him off, though. A to Z. Going to respawn. Fruit. They get the backup. They mow them down. That was a simple eco win, though, for Mouse Spaz. And losing Fruit, though, that's, that's kind of sad. But yeah, 8 to 4. A really strong CT start. Yeah, Mouse was playing very well. I, 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 I mean, I didn't expect this out of him, but I, I said yesterday the, their early stages of rounds looked very, very good, and where they where they kind of failed against Cloud9 was in the mid round, where where uh, Cloud9 was able to just uh, pretty much take whatever they wanted. And and this time around, not only is it their early game looking strong, but in uh, middle portions around they're shutting down these executes. So very good against uh, this execution style that Liquid's come out with uh, here in this map. Ooh. Fugly just got wall banged. Crap. Oh, there's a second one, but Zek actually not going to wall bang that one. Takes out Nitro ends. Zex is looking on point right now. His his ADVP something to something to worry about. And A two Z trying to go for a cheeky uh, crack smoke play doesn't work out. So they're trying to do something. Double deagles out here for Elysian Fugly too. Can they get the one deags? That's the question. Adren's gonna lead his way out here. Oh, oh catches Polly on the jump. Whew. That's the sniper instinct coming in. Headshots galore. Fugly's gonna hear one coming from CT. He's gonna have to get this quick one deek into the site if they want to have any chance of getting at least a bomb plant. They smoked across, but it's not enough actually. Oh, Alige gets the headshot with the fruit. He's gonna get a second one. Fugly actually gets the buys. Zek takes down a Dren, and now it's a two on two. But with Fugly at eight and Alige at sixty-five, this is gonna be a tough one. Especially the Molotov coming into the site. Oh. Send here from Imsta. It's gonna burn them both out. Now they're forced into different positions. Awkward. He takes a little bit of a shot at his teammate, actually. But what a tough round to win here for Liquid. Both low. Oh, the flank. Zach coming up from the ramp, and he's just going to clean out this bomb site. Gets the first one. Can he find the second one? Fugly trying to wheel and deal, but can't do it. So a good eco round again from Team Liquid, but they can't pull out the victory. Imsta and Zek combined to save it. Zek has a four kill in that round. Yep. Picks his op back up, and 
He's having himself a very good half right now, sitting at four, 14 and 7. Gotta say, he's doing really well. So, yeah. I, nobody was probably expecting this, honestly. And maybe maybe with the addition of AT... It's not an addition, but the standard of A2Z, the communication may be a little, a little off-kilter. So, uh, maybe... I don't know why I'm trying to make excuses, but this is all factors that could be taking effect here. Zek going up mid with a quick peek, and Ren just gets this demolished. Yeah, he actually missed the timing. He had just started to shift his position after he saw two jump. Polly aggressive again at lower B. He brings uh, brings a leash down to two HP, but he's zero for two on that push. Yeah, he, well, he had one where he just pushed up towards middle uh, yep. and had a couple kills, and, and that's these are the same pushes he's doing. He just goes into lower B if he doesn't see anyone, especially with that op pick. So. Oh boy, flash out long. We got three going over there. A nade down towards lower tunnels and two health left on the leash. I, I honestly am just baffled. Zek finds Nitro on the crouch peak too. Out long and he's looking on point tonight. And Mouse Pass, this would be a huge momentum booster for them if they could pick up a win here, but not counting my chickens before they hatch. And let's see, Zek peeking out again. That's his second 3k. He's gonna get the fourth. Yes, he does. Can he get the ace? No, not gonna 180 no scope, even with the Legion on two health, but at least the bomb will get planted for Liquid here. Mm, if he doesn't take it too slow, that is, but two Mouse Buzz members on the flank. And this this should be Mouse Buzz's round, but at least Liquid will get something out of it. Yeah, but but both players, Mousepad is playing this very smart, sticking together this nade from Imsta if he tosses it. Oh, he gave up his position. There it is. Doesn't really matter. Both players going long. Very smart play by Mousepad, sticking together like that. They're going to clean things up, so putting together a, a very strong first half is Mousepad at the moment. And Liquid, uh, Liquid players just don't seem confident right now, and that's, that's kind of part of the issue is they don't seem... Like, not only confident with each other, but even confident in their shots. I really expected a leash to come out and have a huge match for them. And, uh, you know, Nitro as well struggling a little bit here. So, Mousepass really taking the fight to him. They, they hit him early and they hit him hard. Uh, you know, after a three-round win streak for, for Team Liquid, it was just all Mousepass. And Liquid hasn't been able to recover from that early four-round streak. Well, we can't really count out Liquid CT side either. This is still the first half, so. Gotta see what happens as we get to this swap over Polly. Gonna get lit up through that smoke just a bit. He's gonna pop flash himself in, look for a kill, gets one onto A2Z, a smart flash from him. And nobody well, else also pushing the Molotov, him. Well, the Molotov in the cave is what's Yeah, forced him to. Flashbang, it would force the teammates for Liquid to stay outside of long, and that flash only would have only blinded one of them, so there was no support for that one terrorist member. But here they are, taking long, getting the trade kill onto Polly, and that's kind of been the story of Polly's half. He's had some very aggressive plays where he gets a pick and, and then just dies immediately afterwards, but he's got so much information, and the rest of the Mouse Pass teammates behind him have been playing very, very well, but now look at how spread out all of them are. One at cars, one at A, one in mid, and one in B, so it's going to be a lot of individual battles for him. I can't demise find this. He no. through. Fugly takes him out. Oh, boy. They're going up. Cat lit, though. Got two members in the red. Let's see what happens. They molly off the site. Fruit finds one. Fruit looking for another. Gets the hedge onto a Dren. So it's a two-on-two -two situation once again. And the bomb still has yet to be planted. It's actually going to be planted for Cat. And these are the two red members. Fugly gets one headshot. That's all you need is headshots when you got an AK, baby. So. That's, so, that's so crucial, too. Look at the HP of these two players. So yep. incredibly low. Fruit has a great chance of picking up a four kill and a clutch in this round. He's going to come up this ramp, and if Fugly peeks this, it could be very, very scary. He's waiting for it. I don't know oh. if he spotted the head. I actually saw oh. that. Oh, he does get the shot on the Fugly. Oh, near miss onto a leash, but he knows exactly where a leash is. He's got to play close. He can't reposition too well. But Fruit can't he did it. But he does get the spray. He has yeah, a kit, too. he does too. have the defuse, so a great clutch by Fruit there. A four kill on the round and a one on two victory. Everything coming together for Mouse Pass here with an 11 to 4 lead going forward into the second half. Well, oh, oh boy. Boom, so just gotta rejoin real quick. And uh, yeah, strong, strong half for Mouse Pass. 11 to 4. I honestly did not see that coming. Yeah, I, I, I didn't either. And, uh, you know, we all know Liquid's kind of struggled lately. They're coming off a really bad tournament loss. So this is this is what we talked about where we said this was the time that some of these teams need to create those upsets. And uh, Mouse Pass is really seizing their opportunity here. All right, so I'm back in. Pissed around for the half. Going to come on in. Liquid versus Mouse Pass. This is the uh, ESL, ESCA Pro League. And hell of a way to start for Mouse Pass. They're currently 0-2. For the season, looking to make it one-two if they can pick up a strong wing here against uh, Liquid, I'd be astonished, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be looking to Liquid like what happened.
what went wrong. And so, can I have a three-hour buy coming from Liquid? Same story for Mouse Bass. Flashes to get into his B bomb site, and this looks like a delayed B take. This is this is a big sign for them. Put one lower. Look to see if they watch for the push, and then just burst out of B. Yeah, it's gonna be all. Uh, there's three players very, very close in mid for for Liquid, so they'll have quick rotates. But initially, it's gonna be all up to Fugly. He does get one. He does get a second one. That's what he needs to do. And now he has time to reload. A2Z's coming to delay him. He takes out Zach, so this B attack is just getting stopped. Woo! A2Z with three headshots there at the end, and Fugly with the initial two. Great defense by Liquid. Yeah, Fugly's back plat position was phenomenal, and just tapping away with the P2K gets one. A2Z gets a triple, and that flashbang too saved them. Like they they were just running around like chickens with their heads cut off. So we should see a quick uh, transition to a 7-Eleven, and Liquid uh, should have these next few rounds at least. And then once Mousepad hit the gun rounds, we'll see Zek with an op, and we'll see what he can do. And I gotta say the. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just saying, it's surprising to, to see the uh, lack of a buy here out of Mousepass in the second round. They didn't get the bomb plant, so they can't do a third round buy. I mean, full save for the fourth I, round, why not? Yeah, well, I, 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 their, their logic has got to be that they have such a lead that they can afford to give away some, but um, th this could let Liquid build up a, a decent bank, and that could be kind of scary. Let's see. So they're going to play it sneaky. Going to keep the bomb up mid. They don't have any flashes to lead out. They're just going to run in. Elise is going to have a firing day with Nitro. And yeah, they just want to get the rounds over quick. And they at least kill off Nitro, so they get something out of it. But uh, yeah, like I said, 7 to 11 should be the quick score. I mean, looking at the economy, no way they're going to force up. Yeah, just go for full saves. I don't, I don't see why not. Just get full nade stack, get everything you need. And uh, I, I hope that they'll just try to get a pick or two here and just call it a day. They keep picking up like P250s and uh, Tech 9s. I don't know why I wanted to call it a Mac 10, but yeah, that's another relevant gun too. That actually we haven't seen much play of yet. People yeah, are preferring the, uh, the rifles and the P90s. Well, the North American scene hasn't been sold on this SMG buff update. Oh, nice Molotov and eight combo and A2Z and Adran and, and Elise just combined for four very very quick kills. All down to Polly who jumps off Caddy. Might be able to find one here. Nitro's running away. Oh yeah, Nitro's gonna go down. Does he hear him yet? He doesn't. He's gonna go for the knife. No, he's not. He gets this for one. <laughs> can't get the second. That would have been cheeky. Fifteen hundred dollars, man. That's something to scuff about. So, uh, all right, now we'll see the real buy round. And uh, Zach, there you go, gets the big op. Gonna have to pick mid against uh, Adren, maybe. Up not gonna upgrade? No. Hmm. That's interesting. Save the money. Play yeah. the economy game. Okay. You know you're gonna toss the Famas over to Fugly, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. So, well, I'm gonna get dropped back out. Not gonna be. Looking to play too aggressive is the liquid side. Actually, they put one up cap. Nobody plays long. Actually, two. They're gonna up go cap. for a slow push and upper B right now. Oh, fruit. Gonna with this P90. Fruit's got to find these kills. They haven't cleared out the pillar yet. And there it is. He looks for it. He gets the early dink. He takes it over. And there's that upper B uh, control for for liquid. He's gonna smoke out the stairs, and this is gonna funnel the attack over towards A. So they've got to either wait this out. Nice nade is actually gonna push Fugly back, but very very uh, concentrated in the uh, middle around the Xbox is Mousepad at the moment. So. Let's see. That was a bit of a blunder. I'm sure uh, Fruit wanted to peek. Just getting flanked down around the pillar, and now they just push up mid. Fugly actually hits a nade to the face there. They see Nitro. They're shooting at his toes. He's forced to dance around, and he does get taken down by Polly. So they're going to push up here to be a Dren out window. Can't find the kill, but does light one up. He's going to throw a nade and do some more damage. The Flash is raining on in. And what do we got? We got Fugly with the P90 from downtown. Picks up a kill. Insta finds a liege. And Zek getting caught completely off guard. Insta finds a second, but a Dren's there to hold, and Triple kill for Adren, double kill for Fugly. The B holds on point for Liquid. Right, I don't like that call of a, of a, a mid to B as Mouse Baz. I mean, it's unfortunate. Well, not unfortunate, but it got spotted out very early on. But not only that, but they didn't have control of upper B tunnels, so there's no split going on. So you look how, at how easy it was for Team Liquid to just turn around and watch two very, very narrow choke points. So they kind of walked into a situation that they were at an extreme disadvantage. Even with, even with more players, it's still a disadvantage. So a bit of a bit of a light up there from Nitro as he takes one down pretty low from mid, and they're just going for a straight cat play. Maybe gonna jump down one mid, but they get held up by smoke. So we got a nade kill coming from Nitro. Nice little tap by him, and this should be coming to a quick nine round for uh, Liquid. I don't think they're gonna fall prey to what they did to Mouse Baz with the eight, uh, Tech Nine Eco rushes, but who knows? Who knows what'll happen? So Mouse Baz, they did armor up. There, there is something to save there. The head armor on Polly, at least, could be a, a big target for them. Maybe get a gun or two if they find a pusher. But this is this is where the passive style can work for Liquid on CT side. Yeah, well, 
Yeah, they're not they're not taking control of anything, and they're not spotting anything out. But it's also an eco round. This passive style wouldn't work as as well on gun rounds. So they're playing the range with their with their guns at the moment. Adren's got the AWP on catwalk. That looks like where the execution is going to be, in, and there's no flashes or anything. So Adren should have some couple oh. easy shots here. Leash goes down very very quickly though. Adren blinds them all, not able to get anything. So they're forced to give up this A site. So that's going to be a plant for Mouse Bass, and there's a victory. Fruit drops into CT spawn. Oh, Before can we get HP one? Got him, though. Oh. He tried. The Tech Knight is still laying in. A Dren gonna find a kill on the Zek. Pay him back for all the op picks that he got down mid. Gonna incendiary off Cat too, but Polly takes one with him. We got a Dren find a demise and fully clean up Polly, and that should be diffuse out. And Fnatic actually earlier today, they really love this plant behind the box to look towards Cat. They're uh, they're a big team that likes doing that on Dust too. Yeah, well, a lot of times, especially you know in professional levels in Europe, you see and and you saw Dren do it here is uh, these A players. Um, very quick to give up long. I criticized Ace Gaming for it in the first match of the night when it when it didn't happen, when when Rabbit got caught out. Uh, Adren there, once he misses his shot and his teammate goes down, he just bails out uh, to support his teammate at long just to hold that. And because professional teams do that, it's the safest place to plant from that from that passive long retake strategy on the A site. So going for quick plays out towards long here. Adren's gonna find one. Can he get the second? Doesn't seem like he can, and they're forced to retreat out. They're Full bought up too. That's a big kill to lose. So they're they're gonna retreat back to mid, keep playing the default positions they have been and look for maybe a cat pick, but already rotated up there is a leash. Oh boy, this is this is not good. I said I wasn't gonna say that. I I've been working on it so hard, but it did. One slip through. What not saying oh boy? Yeah. That was the first one tonight, that's not too bad, but <laughs> Adren, out cat, finds Zek, and now looking like he's uh he's turning on a little bit. Yeah, and, you know that, that's that's the strength of Adren as an opera. A very good defensive opera, a very clever opera when he's able to change his position up, and uh, you can see it there. And now they're going to come out mid. Elijah's going to lose that fight, but they've called it out. He sees all, all of them. Nitro's going to smoke off door. This should be a pretty solid defense for Liquid. They can just watch the window. Nitro grabs the first one with streaming in. Assuming it has a peek. That's fugly. He sprays one down. Can't get the second one. Demise at 12 HP. He's just got to try and get this bomb planted, and he is going to. It is a two on one. Oh, and Incendiary? Nope, forces him out at least. Adren heard him cross. Oh, but A to Z on the flank. All right, so Demise goes down. Bomb's gonna get defused. They don't want to get incendiary, but uh, yeah, that'll be 10 to 11. Liquid getting close to tying it up and possibly taking the lead. Yeah, we said before this match started, looking at Mouse Baz uh, from last night. Um, where is it? They had like a, they had a very, very low terrorist, uh, they were 3 for 17 on their terrorist side, 18% win rate, so not strong terrorist team, and, and especially on Dust2, we, we actually have a note uh, that they struggle against, uh, they struggle against teams who have, a, who have strong oppers, and Adren is a very competent, very strong defensive opper, and uh, you could see that last round, and some of these rounds that he's had this op, he's put the hurt on him. And mass flashes coming out long, Liquid did get full blind, but Elyse, after he was done, just re-peeked out, the incendiary... Uh, Imsta up, and he's forced to relieve his blue dumpster position, and A2Z cleans him up, so... Five yeah, on this three. Is, this is the second or third round now that, that Mouse Pass players have tried to come out long like that and take that fight, and they haven't won any of them yet, so they've got to get away from that. They don't seem to have a great plan, and now those two picks, it's going to give Liquid the opportunity. They're going to push up and up or B again, and Nitro is going to take this with a pop flash, complete control of that, so the information is now gathered. All his teammates can stack over towards A. Elise is going to get a really nice nade off and just delay him, and that's going to allow further time for these Liquid players. Nitro going all the way towards T spawn to flank uh, and to adjust their positioning for this. Uh, so taking taking that cap position, gonna sit back and the least I can hope for here is the bomb planner. If they can clutch this out, I'd be so impressed, but their T stats don't lie and they're having a tough time. They could be losing seven in a row here. A trend going big from the long holds and now Fruit gonna be going down. A leash controls the spray finally. They salvage up the AWP for a drain again and that's 11-11. Liquid. They haven't lost a round on CT side just yet. And uh, this this is this is like the liquid we're used to seeing. Yeah, and Fugly up there, 24 and 14, Adren 20 and 14, Elyse 18 and 16. So come alive in the second half. Those three players especially done very, very well, and they're they're just off and running right now. And Mouse Pass, their their T side struggles, their their woes on the offensive half uh, continues here. All right, there we go. AK's in tunnel, taking that lower position. Imps is going to be scouting out, looking for the pushes. And I, I honestly not sure what Mouse Pass can do. They they keep trying to go cat. They keep trying to go long, just getting picked out. So they're going to go for a mid play. They have the smokes with the cross. Elyse, though, holding CT, gets one, gets put down to eight. 
He's gonna drop into Sidious. There's a flash from Fugly too. That blinds them all. Man, the nade kill comes out. But Fugly, look at that window position. Gets a big double. The bomb trying to creep its way out too. I believe they just saw him. Yeah, Zek in that smoke. Barely able to get away. The P250 chase down from Fugly though, knowing the timing. And then the last kill as uh, Team Liquid take the lead back. And that's a huge comeback too. Fugly and Nitro as a duo on the defensive half is a scary thing. They play the A bomb set on cash as well, and they're they're so incredibly good at holding that bomb site. And they're on B. Mid B split gets executed, gets spotted out by a liege, and instead of really worrying about B, they pop flash over and both of them push out of it and just eliminate that attack. So very smart coordinated play from those two players together. So tech nine, balls out, guns out. What are they gonna do? <laughs> I mean, honestly, they gotta throw something into the works of uh, Liquid right now. It's just not nothing's working together for them. Elise is going to find himself at the end of the Tech Knight from Paul. A flashbang nice. Comes out. Full blinds everybody, actually. Dren's going to shoot one in the back as he turns around. And Dren's going to look to re-peek here with another flash, but he can't get it up close. It's team flash, though. Actually helping him out. They're going to get the plant, at least jumping and M4ing. Fugly gets the headshot, stops the plant, so no extra money for Mouse Spaz. And then Nitro cleans up Pauly. 13 to 11. I think Mouse Spaz... Uh, that might be it. I, I honestly don't know. The economy is too stacked up from Liquid. They're going to try to buy up here. Zex got himself an op, and it just doesn't look like a CT op. Well, I, I think the I think the big difference is it's not so much his op. I think it's Adren's op as well, and uh, you can see he's not 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 a strong duelist in that first half. Zek winning the majority of those battles, but here on the the CT side where Adren can take an angle and he's given time to relocate. You know, he's he's very very effective, and not only that, but just across the map, all of his teammates are getting shut down. They've started out a lot of rounds down one to two players, and it's just very hard as an opera when you're not given the time to work a pick. So we got Demise standing inside of a incendiary here. Actually catches A2Z off guard. That's a big uh, initial frag to take in the start of this round. That's actually very nice, very impressive by Demise to maintain your composure when you're burning down to 20 HP, 15 HP. And Polly even makes his way up Cat, but can't win that fight, so Elise wins it, slows things down. Nitro's going to win a battle. There's Fruit chiming in. So Adren's going to come back towards A with this AWP, and he's going to hold the cross. He does spot the head. He grabs it, takes it right off. Oh, but Zach! Zach winning an op battle, so two on two retake. They just re-smoke Catwalk. That's going to delay it a little bit. Plant comes out. They're planning in the site. Demise. His head peeks out. He actually jumps. Oh, no. Fugly makes quick work of him. Zek stuck here on the ramp. Nitro's going to flank him out. He doesn't hear him. There you go. And Liquid just going undefeated on their CT half so far. And here's that confidence on the CT side. We didn't see these kind of aggressive, fast-moving plays from Liquid in the first half, but now that they've strung together 10 in a row, they're feeling it, they're feeling happy, playing a little bit more carefree and a little bit loose, and you can see how how good they are when they, when they can maintain that aggression. So, I love the mouse spaz, the CT side. Their T side needs needs a little bit of work, it seems. And, uh... A to Z, he's, he's been doing pretty well so far. 11 to 15, not the, not the best KD. Oh, nice little wall bang on a Fugly though, so Zek may be coming alive here towards the, the final stretches possibly of their Dust 2 lives. Three man lower push and Mouse Spaz again. Not one, wanting to fight into Fugly and Nitro. They, they learned the hard way, I believe, four or five rounds now. But Elige, look at that, peeks through the gap, gets a slow peek from CT, takes down Demise. They're going to chase him out though. Fruit catches him with a nade in his hand. That bomb hasn't been exposed yet, though. Nitro getting put down pretty low by Pauly. And, oh. <laughs> and another mid-B attack where they pretty much eliminate the, 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 the B portion, although one player did come from mid, and he's going to flank him out. Oh, Hopefully he just missed it! Careful. Oh, man, that timing was so close from Zek. He's got this ADP in his hand. He tries to beak out. Fugly gets the kill. A2Z gets Imsta. Fruit here still holding on mid. Going to find A2Z. It's one on three. Both members in B. Sub-20 health. And Jem with the AWP2 holding CT. They push to the door. Nitro has the op in his hand. And 15 to 11. <laughs> Liquid just has handled these. The, not even Liquid. It's been Fugly and Nitro has handled all these mid B splits throughout this half so incredibly well. And it's just brutal. I mean, that's a strat that, you know, is, is very, very effective on this map, obviously. But when Liquid, when, uh, when Fugly and Nitro are able to systematically shut down half of the attack, it really loses so much of effectiveness. And you can just see it. Mouse Pass isn't able to gain any ground. So they're force buying up for potentially what's their last round, and uh, this is this is a big wake up call for them to work on their T side at least. I mean, this, just going through Liquid is is a tough tough thing at that. But Adren gets lit up a little bit. Nitro taking some damage. Actually, Zach opens up onto him with the Glial, and now we got them going up Cat here. There's nobody defending this right now. They're rotating Adren back from Long once again, who's been holding this position phenomenally, looking like Zek on his CT side. But Pauly gonna lead the charge. Actually, get incendiaried. 
That's gonna halt the push a bit, and they actually rotated everybody over. There's only one in mid, and that's Fugly, and the B side's left completely open. So if they can kill Fugly here, they can make a straight train over here to this B bomb site. The bomb is actually dropped, it falls over the ledge! That's such a tough spot to recover from. They're gonna jump over, get that one, and then Tobias catches A2Z on the flank, so Fruit gets a leash too. And now looking for another Polly! Takes down Fugly, and I'm not not calling it over just yet, but Adren, he's one on three. And about to get flanked out here by Demise. Oh, the shots from downtown puts him down to 42. A little bit of, hmm, can they get it? Fruit? Adren, he sees his head. There you go, tapping away. Gets the wall bang, and all right, mouse pass, 15-12. Yeah, a uh, nice hectic round from, uh, from mouse pass there. And a good opening pick gives them a little bit of opportunity. I think that might be the first round they actually got the opening kill. Not really, haven't really gotten it too much recently, or this entire half, so they win that round, they stave it off a little bit longer, but Liquid, right on map point. The Dream Machine in Adren's hands, can he catch him on the cross? No. He's gonna look up Cat though, he's gonna pull a Mo, just can't that position out and wait for his time to shine. And Demise again, he's gonna get incendiary, he's actually gonna spray pre-fire a bit, wondering if HZ's gonna push, but... Oh, he actually did! Okay, never mind. And Pauline's just way up cat too. I gotta say, I, I like the persistence of mouse baths to be like, keep going mid, keep pressuring cat, and try to find that pick out long. Why would you like it though? They've done it so much and they've only won one round off of it. It's, uh, it's, they've been, it's they've fine. They've been getting shut down with what they've been doing. They're learning from it, <laughs> right? Well, you have to be able to, uh, yeah, you have to learn quicker than, than 14 rounds there, 12 rounds, excuse me, but... I, I mean, they're, they're doing some things okay, but you have to adjust to how the Liquid's playing as well. And those mid-B splits obviously haven't been working. Throwing bodies at Fugly and Nitro hasn't worked at all. Fugly's at 31 kills, so he's loved that. But right now, they do have a pretty good call going on. It's just going to be Adren and A2Z guarding A and Long. Adren's at that same corner, and here comes the execute. They push on out. Elish can't find anything, though, from his position from CT. He pushes up the ramp once again. Got Elish finding him finally taking down Fruit. Pauly still in this position, but Adren just holding that so well. Finds a third. Can he get the fourth to end this game? Does not seem like it. No, he does. All right. So ends this dread and ends the game at a, a 4K. Putting on in that last round. Unbelievable opping. Nicely done by him.